Hi everyone. So today we're going to be unboxing a 48600C firewall. So I've got the original box here still in the uh, brown box straight from Fortinet. So you can see the uh, model number, serial number, hardware ID number. So just going to open it up and take it piece by piece. So right away we've got a box within inside of a box. We've got the uh, information here again. Once again it's the model number, it's got the serial number of what's inside. And then inside of there is then the styrofoam packing and all the bits and pieces. So we've got the uh, standard power cable. Um, this one's Australian based, but uh, whichever market that you're in you'd get the power cable for that. This should be the accessories box. So we've got the uh, basic quick start guide manual, um, tools and documentation if you uh, need it on the CD still. Then we've got the cables. So it comes with a uh, relatively short Cat5e cable. You've got your USB cable if you're connecting USB for the console. So your uh, fairly standard USB cable, then you've got your console cable, so the uh, RS-232 um, to RJ45. You've then got the screws for attaching on the rack mount kit. You have two SFPs. Now these are just uh, one gig fiber SFPs. You've got little rubber feet in case that you're not rack mounting the firewall, you're going to be putting it onto a desk. And finally, the actual rack mount brackets themselves. So, we'll hang on to those. And that's it for the accessories box. Underneath there is the 48 cookbook and quick start guide. and then the actual firewall itself. So, very well protected, lots of styrofoam on here. Plastic baggie. Starting on the bottom here, sticker with all the information that you need. Um, has the serial number, model number, the MAC address for the uh, management interface, hardware ID, part number, and all the regulatory information. So, starting at the front here, we've got 600C with all of its ports, pretty standard ports. I'll uh, include a link to the uh, actual picture of the ports as well. Um, we've got a USB port, USB management, console port, management one and two, You've then got WAN 1 and 2, as well as ports 1 and 2, which are uh, uh, fail-close ports, if you wish to configure them as that. You then have the regular ports 3, 4, all the way up. You then have your SFP slots at the end. Nothing in them, they're just um, plastic uh, covers on the end. On the back of the firewall, we've got the two power supply slots. Comes with one power supply by default and then it's got an option for a second um, internal power supply if you wish to fit it in. Screws for grounding, and then you've got all the fan exhausts at the back here. On the sides, this is where the rack mount ears would be uh, screwed onto. In another video on my channel, I've got the instructions on how to remove the blanking plate to install a second power supply in the 600C firewall. There is a bit of a trick or two to it, so it's worthwhile watching the video if you're uh, thinking of installing a second power supply. That's it for this one. If you've got any comments or feedback, or if there's any information that you want to know about the 600C firewall, let me know in the comments below. And if there's any other 40 gate firewalls that you guys want to see unboxed, let me know and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.